Hey everybody, welcome back to Silent Plays Underhill. Jake, get this door open. Way ahead of you, man. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, continue on with this shit. The animations are pretty solid, though, too, for the, uh... Well, everybody. Minus that fucking attack animation on the zombies that allows them to not get shot every fucking time. God damn. Big corridor. Really hot and moist in here, and it smells pretty bad too. I know, it's maintenance, guys. What do you expect? Okay, right. Keep going on to your right. It should be the door right before the end on the opposite side of the corridor. You get me, right? On the opposite side where you just came in at the end. I got it. Gotta be talking about here. Really? It smelled that bad? No. It was this hot though? This is the door. Clear. Let's move. I don't remember what's next too well, like, I don't, and I'm kind of glad for that, because this is all new Wait shit. Why is this an airlock? I think I know why. Oh, no fucking way. I hate to be right. <coughs> why are we going through there, goddammit? We're going through there to avoid detection. We slip in, reach the generator level, turn it on, and use a lift back up. Got it? Yeah. Yeah, I'll just wait right here, all right? No, you're not. We won't come back this way. Damn! I should have let Junior go instead of me. Yeah, you should have. <laughs> all right, let's do this shit, boys. The floor's all gooey, man. It's slippery. <coughs> I don't even want to know what this shit is. Don't think. Focus on what we're doing. Stay sharp. Stay sharp? What the fuck, man? You think the poop monster's gonna eat us? I mean, seriously, stay <coughs> stay sharp? I'd rather just wander off in my happy place right now. Man, more than staying sharp. Damn. Be quiet. There's a lot of echo. We don't want to get noticed. Right, right. Don't want to get noticed, huh? I'm pretty sure none of these assholes will come down to here anyway. Seriously, we'll die of massive infection before we even reach the utility stairs, man. Oh, God. Shh, stop moving. You hear that? Shit, I heard it. It's behind us. Shit, move, 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 move. Oh, oh shit, here they come. Keep moving. I can sprint backwards. I got no weapons. Again. Didn't see that fucking coming. Try to get in there first. I lost all of my gear, man. Literally all of my gear. That was where I had seen it up to right there. This is all new ground after this point. I have not seen anything up to this point. Did I lose literally all of my gear? Yeah, literally everything. Holy, oh god. Well, I guess that, uh, none of that wound up getting used, huh? And I do need that.
I mean, it's a horror game. That was happening. Eventually. Fuck you. No fucking way, really? Oh great, one of these kind of fucking scenarios. going to meet back up with these two fucking fools. Alright, well, I guess I figured that one out easy enough. Alright, fine. I'll forgive that chase scene. Hey, my old friend. Well, look who's here. How'd you get down here, huh? Hey, by the smell of you, I think I have an idea. <laughs> you know, you could have used a bench. Much more cleaner, much more faster. And much more comfortable, too. They go down at a nice angle. It's just like a slide. I thought I'd left one of my old decks of cards down here. That's why I'm here. You know, since the rats ate my last one. Can you believe that? I don't really like this place much. It's too moist. Not good for my skin. It's gonna make me look older than I am. Well, I've been practicing a little magic trick. You remember I gave you a hammer and exchanged those four cards. Well, turns out I need a few more, you know. So here's what we're gonna do. You bring me six new cards, all right? Six new cards, and I'll give you a really good tip. I found out that inmates love music. I'm serious. I've been looking around gathering these little FM radios, and every time I turn them on, Everyone just comes running at them. <laughs> it's hilarious, you know. You throw it over here, they come a running. You should try. Shall you bring me those? He's gonna give us a lore. No fucking way. He's gonna give us a lore. You just had to write your name on that, didn't you? Fourth wall. What is a fourth wall anymore? Oh God! Then I realized it swallowed some bolts, and well, well, that's why my pipe broke. Must have been damn hungry to swallow them bolts like that. <laughs> I love you, man. In every way, except the gay way, of course. Now you know, fuck it, even in the gay way. Oh boy, here we go. I'm good. Bye bye. Bye now. They're really gonna keep you doing this, though? I don't know. I forgot about the whole vents thing, though, but that, that's probably his hint that you need to do there is uh, use the fucking vents to get to what you need to. Well, that's two. I'm really running around here looking for fucking cards for this guy? Get out of my way, goddammit. See, this isn't the kind of shit that scares me. This, it, not at all. It actually kind of irritates me, this kind of fucking thing in a horror game, to be honest. Like, just give me a gun. I don't know. There's nothing that's really scary about this. It just kind of 
forces you to be a lot less, like, combative about the situation. And I can get it. I can get behind that. I understand. But it's more irritating than it is good gameplay or scary. And every horror game does this at some point, and I'm not a big fan of it. Come on, you little fucker. Is it just not opening, or...? Uh, I just gotta fucking hold the damn thing. Alright, can you piss off, guy? Piss off. Be gone. Vamos. Yeah, that helped. You can do that? No, that's just bullshit right there. Like, that's not even... You can't even... How? How... How do you... How? Like, you look at that and you tell me how the fuck you're supposed to get the bolts undone from this shit while this guy's on you. You don't. Actually, you can't because there's no bolts on the outside. Alright, fine. There's two of them. There is two of them. I'm stuck in here with this guy. Uh, this this might be the point where I stop playing Underhell, actually. You just had to write your name on that, did you? I might literally not be playing this game after this point if I don't get it after a couple of tries, because honestly, this kind of shit in horror just annoys me. what that's all about. Fuck you. Really? I mean, is that really what you're supposed to do? Is just stay hidden from these guys? Because... That's gonna annoy me as well because A Half-Life has horrible clipping problems as you can see right here. No, I think I literally need to use stealth, which is that that's this is this is a horrible, horrible game to implement stealth in. You just had to write your name on that, did you? This game was doing so, so good up until this. It was doing so fucking well. Why did you have to go and put a thing like this in?
So what do you do when they see you, though? Like, that's the other one thing. Because it seems to me like you're pretty fucking boned once they find you. Oh, man. I don't know how long my patience will go on for this one. And I'm not one of those types of people where it's like, okay, well, I hit my first roadblock in this game. It annoys me now. No, 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 no. It's just... If you implement stealth as an actual critical thing that needs to be implemented in your game... It needs to be good stealth, you know? And yeah, whatever, you can have like a mistake, and I'm not gonna completely rip this game apart for that and say it's like a terrible game or anything. Like that. But... It is going to annoy me fucking horribly, hor bad, like absolutely terribly. Oh, come on, man. Am I really not able to get back now? There we go. I saw that. <laughs> saw that, too. But yeah, it needs to be it needs to be good stealth. And I mean, I don't know. I guess I can kind of forgive this one because it does have like a good mechanic to it. But I mean, it's just you see it, they see you, you're fucking just you're fucked. You are absolutely bone around, fucked over, done. I mean, I can try running back to the other thing. I haven't tried everything yet. It was just kind of my first take of it, thus far. I can actually do this part without needing to get all the cards for that guy. But do I want to do that? Oh, fuck you! See what I mean? See what I mean with this shit? You see what I have to deal with here? Like, that's what I mean. Like, you step out at the wrong fucking time. It's not your fault in any way, shape, or form, and now you gotta do all of this garbage again. Where you have things right up your ass the whole fucking time that you're in here. And this guy still hasn't moved. Like, I mean, how do you combat that? Fuck it, I'm gonna save again. I don't know, I guess I'm gonna have to just keep doing that every fucking... Really? Really? You knew where I was right off of the bat. Really now. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you. Ugh. 
This has got to be why the game introduced you to climbing into lockers pretty early. I fucking knew that there was going to be some kind of stealthing part of this game, but... And don't get me wrong, I have nothing against stealth in a game. I'm not one of those types of people that just needs a shoot 'em up no-brainer fucking experience for a game. But I mean, come on, look at this shit. This is annoying, it's not fun, it's just... Ugh. One of the main elements that you need in a game like this where you're going to enroll some kind of way to, like, you know, of running away from an enemy and not fighting them is you need solid mechanics, something that makes sense, a formula in which that you can actually get out of not dying that makes sense. Otherwise, it just basically becomes another Five Nights at Freddy's, which... Whatever, albeit is a decent game. It's just, it's not my kind of game in terms of a game that has really solid, like, gameplay. I know there's more cards back there, and I really don't need to do all of this garbage, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to see if I can find those cards. Fuck you, dude. Just fuck you hard in the face. Like, he just comes barrel-assing around the corner for no fucking reason. He probably already knows where I am, and the cue music has nothing to do with him knowing. It has everything to do with him actually being there and being seen. I can guarantee that. Come on, climb up under the fucking thing already. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Are you fucking serious right now? Apparently he can jump across too and chase you through here. Glorious. And why would I lock him out? Fuck you! <laughs> Alright. This game might have just redeemed itself in allowing you to go back with the wrench. Because that I'm okay with. That I am okay with. Okay. What was up with the leg thing before? That didn't seem to do a goddamn thing before. So, okay, how do we how do we get in there, comrade? Probably underneath, but I'm going to get hurt when I touch this water, aren't I? Yeah. So, that's not the uh, that's not the answer. I can't just reach in and fucking What? Um... No, that wouldn't be it either. That just opens up the thing so I can see shit. So I need a gun, probably. 
I'm gonna bet that. Oh, fuck, you're denied access. I should be busting crates open. I remember them having goodies. And the toot. Oh, come on, man. That jump's gonna piss me the fuck off a lot. Fuck you. Alright, that isn't too bad, being able to come back through this area with the wrench that you get. That's not too bad. See, I thought that you were going to have to fucking go through here with things chewing on your ass the whole entire goddamn time that you're in here with an unfair AI. To find all the fucking cards for uh, the dude over there. See, this I can get behind. This is fine. So it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. That's fine. Cause that's just the main problem when it comes to stealthing, is you really need to get the game balancing right, and... I'll, I'll forgive it. I had some salt earlier, but I'll forgive it now that I've actually gotten past that. And, again, overall, it does kind of just, it, it makes a whole lot more sense that you can just go back after you, uh, you get the wrench. It, that makes a lot of the difference right there. Because that just would have been fucking ridiculous. I mean, like, they were fucking right on my ass the whole goddamn time I was doing this. Also, I hope I didn't fuck things up because I think there was a card that was in that desk right there. And I'm having a problem remembering. So wait, can I turn the water off now? Or the power? Or something? There's got to be something that I can do about the electrified water, right? I'm also very surprised that there's nothing. Literally nothing. For those, like... The box... They basically taught you in the tutorial that boxes yield loot. And it's not even a thing later. Oh, you know what? That's that's it. Turn off the power. Got it. So now I can probably go underneath here, right? Because I have the wrench. Yeah. That's exactly what's going to go on there. You're going to have me go underneath everything. But before I do that... There's no power anymore. i got to go underneath here. Okay. There's also over there, too. Should I check that shit out first, or...? Yeah, probably. Let's go down here. This is probably where my shooty bang is. Thank God mounting ladders is still a thing in Underhill, as it is with all Half-Life stuff. Oh, no power. Duh. Access granted. Thank you. That is where the shooty bang is, just mounted on the wall. Can I have something to rush me? Oh. Do I need that, or...? I hope not. Oh, those were shotgun shells the whole time. I mean, uh, handgun rounds the whole time. 
All right. I guess that makes a lot more sense, though. Probably two different amounts. Well, let's go over here, then. Because if there's one thing that video games have taught me, it's that shooting the red barrels blows everything up. Oh, we never needed that. Cards. There's my babe. Oh, daddy missed you. Uh, what are we doing for time here? You know, I gotta cut the episode. Ugh, I gotta cut the episode then. So that's a perfect time to do that. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna do that thing. I need a shower, so lots of other stuff too today. So I'm gonna go ahead and end everything here, guys. Uh, can't wait to get back to recording some more under hell. Uh, really feeling it today. That that whole stealth thing kind of threw me out of it, but that that's 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 fine. Like I said, the fact with the whole wrench afterwards kind of it. it removes the uh, the bullshit of it, I guess, because you can go back over it. So they did put some balancing in it afterwards if you didn't want to fucking go through the broken stealth mechanics. But then again, I don't think that they had all the cards there anyway, so I think the game was telling me to do that the whole time. So who knows? I don't know. This game has good direction on what to do, and you can figure it out pretty easily, so that I'm very thankful for. I'll catch you guys later, and uh, see you in the next bar. Take it easy.